beautiful weather. Is everyone so thrilled here? I see t-shirts, I see smiles, I see sunglasses. Let's give it up for just this beautiful day. How about it? Yeah. 
is that every reproductive choice should be made by us, should be made by women, should be made, frankly, every healthcare choice. Every healthcare choice. That's right. Should be made by the individual and their doctor. Yeah. You know, whoever else wants to be in the room, they are not welcome to be in the room. And we also need to know that we need to believe the Republicans when they tell us what's next. When Clarence Thomas says, next up is marriage equality, next up is our other privacy rights, believe them. Believe them. That is what is next up. Which is why we're going to make sure they do not win. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't want you just voting only because of the threats on the line, which are certainly more than that. But I have to tell you, we have gotten things done. I'm so proud of our governor. I'm so proud of our Secretary of State and Attorney General for standing up every single day. I'm so proud of what we've gotten done with under the worst possible circumstances. You know, President Biden inherited a mess. Gretchen <laughs> Whitmer walked into a situation where all of us had our lives and safety and our families lives on the line. This was not easy. But they stepped up. We all stepped up. And we saved lives and got children back to school safely and made sure that people could get back to their lives and move forward in a really positive way. And I have to tell you that in D.C., you know, that governor's done the same thing, and so have our other elected officials here. But we've taken out big pharma, we've taken out big oil, we've taken out the